and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners with me, Wizard Keen, otherwise known as Adam Clark. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be playing with my good friend, TNT. There it is. <laughs> okay. We're going to be uh, going to be using this bad boy, okay? And uh, we're going to be, it's going to be used for learning, okay? We're going to be, it's, and it's a good icebreaker. If you've never used Minecraft before and you've got a large group of kids and they're all eager to kind of get stuck in, uh, one of the kind of, one of the f most funnest ways of doing it, especially if you're a little bit nervous about TNT, because let's face it, it's, it's horribly explosive. Let's go down here, actually. Let's... This is far enough away. I don't want to destroy any of my world, but uh, but if you're careful, uh, you can do this. Uh, you can do this carefully. So we also need some obsidian. And I'm going to grab some here, uh, and I'm going to just um, I'm going to just create an obsidian platform from this point to over here. I think we're going to just sort of have it about here. Okay. That looks about right. So what I'm going to do is I've got a pen and paper here. I'm going to press F3 and I'm going to look at what I'm looking at. Now it says here I'm looking at uh, 72, uh, 92 and minus 43. Okay, that's it. That's this piece of obsidian's X, Y and Z coordinates. And let's go over here and look at this one. Okay, uh, this one is uh, 107, uh, 93, actually it's a bit higher, but that's okay, minus 18. Okay, that's the X, Y, and Z coordinates of this little piece of obsidian here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press T again, I'm going to press forward, uh, forward slash, and I'm going to write the word fill. Now fill, uh, if you just type in the command and you don't actually type any kind of um, uh, anything else other way, it will tell you what to do what to do with it. So this is what it said here. The usage is, I'm going to fill an area with certain types of blocks. So we're going to do, the first is the X and the second is the um, is, is the next one. So it's the first three and second three and then whatever it is that we want to fill it with, which will be obsidian. So we're going to do here fill, spell it right, fill, okay. And we had that 107 space uh, 93 space minus 18 and then another space and then the next place was 72 92 and minus 43 okay so it's good to write that down T and then tab it this is minecraft all right it's obsidian okay press return and boom there we've got press f3 again off there we've filled a nice explosive testing area over here so obsidian is pretty pretty resilient against uh, against tnt i'm going to just demonstrate here by putting a bit of tnt down here and getting myself a flint and steel uh and any kind of uh, so i'm just going to light that up blow it up here boom there we go and it makes a great noise as well at the same time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, this is double thick, I think. Yeah, double thickness over here. So this makes a nice little platform um, for us to, to do our little experiments on. So why use TNT in the first place? I mean, I would use it in a flat world and get everybody to start blowing things up. It's, it's just, it's jolly good fun. And it gets a lot of stuff out the system, but also we can do some mathematics at the same time. So we're gonna get some materials here. I'm gonna get some, uh, some stone, some sponge, some glass and some wood, I think. Okay. So, um, and we're gonna put, we're gonna put one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like that okay and then one two three four five oops and daisy one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten okay so i've made i haven't filled it in because let's face it filling that in would take a long time wouldn't it but what we can do we've now got coordinates to be able to kind of do this ourselves so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we need this coordinate here so again i'm going to press f3 uh, to quickly do f3 there we go so this one is this x y and z for this block is 75 uh, 94 and minus 32 okay 
And then uh, I need to go dia diagonally opposite it to this one up here. Okay. So this one up here is 84, uh, 103, 103. I'm writing this down in my notebook. Minus 23. Okay. So again, we're going to do our fill command. We're going to fill. We're going to say 75. 75, 94, okay, and minus 32, I think it was, 32, that says 52, 32, make sure you get these right, because otherwise, you, there isn't an undo, once they're filled, you, you've filled it, okay, uh, the next one is, uh, next number is 84, uh, 103, and minus 23, and we're going to fill it with stone, I believe it is, stone, 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 Stone. There we go. Press return. And there we go. The whole thing has been filled with stone. 10 by 10 by 10. Okay. Which is great. Now, what we can do now is we can put a, uh, we can kind of go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's, we can put two blocks down in the middle. Okay. And we can light those blocks together. Boom. Okay. So there we have it. So we have, we can count how many blocks of TNT that exploded. Now you could have it on a corner, you could have it in the middle, you could have it on top. On top might be quite good actually. Uh, it depends on what you want to do, but you want to make sure that this experiment, yeah, is a fair test. Okay. So a fair test means that. Uh, if I replace, I'm going to basically do this again, but replace the stone, yeah, with something like sponge, okay? And I'm going to count how many uh, blocks were destroyed by TNT with this stone. And then I'll do the same thing with the sponge, okay? So that way we can kind of, we can start analyzing the ablative, uh, the destructive force of the TNT and the damage value of all the materials that we're using. So we can imagine doing it with glass, okay? And let's do it with let's do it with glass straight away. So we're going to do that thing again. So we're going to basically do this. So we're going to fill, okay? Um, I think actually, actually, because we did it before, we can just use this. So this was Minecraft stone. So we don't want to do stone. So what I did when I did that is, like, Adam, how did you do that? I actually just pressed the up arrow key when I and so I pressed T and then press the up arrow key. We're gonna have glass, uh, glass pane, glass like this. So we'll just go boom, and there we have a glass pane. Now to make it a fair test, I suspect I should only have one, okay, and uh, to make it super fair, okay, one of the one of the other kind of ways of doing it. Uh, what am I looking for? Stone pressure plate is we might as well kind of automate it. So make sure that it's um, it's got maybe a pressure plate rather than me kind of uh, hitting it. So that a fair test would be that. So I, I just walk on that, it starts to do that and then the whole thing should explode. And there we see we've got glass is, it, there was more glass that had been exploded out from this one, from this experiment than the stone. Okay, so let's have another look at uh, let's do this again so we'll just do this with instead of glass we're going to do um sponge sp sponge spruce sponge there we go so we're going to fill it with sponge and um we'll just uh, we'll get this set up again so we've got that ready there put tnt there so it's in exactly the same position as it was before run on it and Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, glass and sponge are pretty. So what you would do at this point would you would be you would you would count this up and you'd uh, you might even kind of count all these bits up here. Okay, glass wouldn't work. But then you can start making a graph, okay? So you could say uh, sponge got damaged <laughs> you know this much. Well, okay. Actually that's quite a good idea, isn't it? So you could have a literally a a, a graph going right up of all the all the pieces that got kind of blown blown up actually I'm I'm in creative mode so it's not actually working it's about 17 
so 17 and then you could say and then and then stone was this kind of stuff and then finally you'd have a graph that kind of represented the the, the you know the ablative effects of the TNT in a fair test so there you go that's quite uh, that's quite a nice little way of introducing you students to some some mathematics okay some math and uh, and also also introducing to the fun effects of TNT it will be a wild time I assure you but eventually this stuff will come out and when you start doing this stuff in a group it, and it, it's in a group that it wor works really really well even if it's just a small group with a small you know five or six kids and then we homeschool so we, we do it with with kids at home who come around to our house and we we do some homeschooling some maths and stuff like that within Minecraft and I tell you what it, we have a ton of fun so I hope you that's all made a lot of sense to you. Uh, do try this stuff uh, for yourselves. You can take screenshots of this stuff as again as well, and kind of show that you can kind of doing graphing and things like that. And you know, if you want to do it, it's a remember it's a fair test because basically that you know the, the TNT has to be in exactly the same position. It all has to work exactly the same. And if you're using uh, creative mode, just by pressing T and the up thing means you can kind of get back. And I can press air there as well. Press return and the whole thing disappears. Okay. So that's super easy way of kind of creating a block of materials and then blowing that block of materials up time and time again. I hope you've enjoyed it, Elite, ladies and gentlemen. Do join me again next time with 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. Until then, thank you and goodbye. Bye.